Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the C programming development environment on your Visual Studio Code editor on your Mac operating system. So before setting up the C development environment with our Visual Studio Code, you need to have the C compiler installed on your Mac operating system, which is used to compile your C or C++ programs. So first of all, for that, you need to open your terminal. So just click on this spotlight and then and then search for the terminal and then open the terminal here. And then give this command, which is clang and then space hyphen hyphen version and then press enter. And if it gives you this kind of output, which says Apple clang version and the version is listed here and uh, you also have this kind of information. That means the CLang compiler is installed on your Mac operating system and you will be able to compile your C programs using CLang. Now, if this uh, command doesn't give any uh, output like this and it gives uh, the error and it will say CLang is not recognized, then you need to install the compiler. To install the CLang compiler, you need to install the Xcode development tools. There are two ways of installing Xcode development tools. You can download the Xcode from the App Store. So just search for Xcode in the App Store and download the uh, Xcode from here. But this Xcode package, when you download it from the Apple store, then it comes with other tools. So it comes bundled with different uh, SDKs and development tools like Xcode IDE itself and then the support for uh, Mac OS development, Swift iOS development and many other tool chains. So it's around 7 or 8 GB of data uh, you need to download. If you want CLang just for the C++ development, you can also uh, give this command on your terminal which is xcode hyphen select space hyphen hyphen install and then press enter and it's going to start the installation of xcode on your uh, mac operating system and it's going to install the clang also when you run this command when i run this command it gives me uh, this kind of error which says command line tool is already installed because i have already installed the xcode development tools so it says use the software update to update the xcode otherwise i have already installed the xcode select tool once that's done just run the clang command once again and then you will see this kind of output once CLang compiler is uh, installed, just open your Visual Studio Code and let's open a folder where you want to develop your C code. So I'm going to uh, go to my documents folder and here I have this demo C folder. I'm going to add this folder in my Visual Studio Code and this folder is right now empty. So let's create a C file here. So I'm going to click on this plus button here which is going to create a new file and then I'm going to name my file as main.c and then press enter. As soon as I uh, create a C or C++ file on Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio Code recognizes that I want to create a C program and it's going to give me the recommendation to install the C and C++ extension pack which is the extension developed by Microsoft. If you want, you can click on install here. If you don't see this kind of uh, recommendation, you can also go to the extensions section by clicking on this button and then search for C and C++ tools. So C, C++, search for uh, C and C++. So here you will see a few result. First one is the C and C++ uh, uh, extension. Second one is the C and C++ extension pack. So I will recommend you to download the C and C++ extension pack, which comes with C and C++ uh, extension, C and C++ themes, CMake and CMake tools, right? And this C and C++ extension pack is going to include the C and C++ uh, extension, this also, right? So install the second one, and it's also from Microsoft, 
So Microsoft is the official uh, developer of the C and C++ extension pack. So it's uh, the most popular and most used extension pack for C and C++. So I'm going to click on install here, which is going to install all these extensions, including C and C++, uh, C and C++ themes and C make and C make tools. Now I will also recommend to install one more uh, extension pack, which is called code runner. So just uh, write code runner here in the search of extensions. And then you will see this uh, extension, which is called code runner. I'm going to select this code runner from here and then click on install, which is going to install this code runner. Okay. Once uh, these two extension packs are installed, let's go to the Explorer and then let's uh, go to our C file. Here I'm going to uh, paste a very uh, simple C code. And what does uh, this code do? I have declared two uh, integers here and num1 has the value of five, num2 I have assigned the value of 10 and I'm just adding these two numbers and printing the values of num1, num2 and sum in the print statement. So this is the very simple C program which you can find anywhere on internet. Now to run this program, here you will be able to see this kind of uh, run code button. So when I click in on this arrow, you have this run code uh, uh, option. So you just choose this run code uh, option which is going to run your program. You can see the output is printed here. So this run code option is due to the code runner and this run C, C++ file or debug C++ file is due to the C and C++ extension pack. So I will recommend you to always use this option which says run code, okay, which is going to run your code in the output section. Now, if you are a fan of uh, terminals, and if you want to compile your code using the terminal, then first of all, to open the terminal, click on terminal and then click on new terminal here. And to compile your code, you can uh, use this command, which is uh, clang. And when you press tab key on your keyboard, you will see all the clang related command, which you can use uh, on your Mac operating system. We are going to use the clang command itself because it's a C program. And then I'm going to give the name of my C file, which is main.c. And then I'm going to uh, create the output. Now, when I ran the uh, main.c file, it has created this binary. So let me remove this binary because it's the output of the build process. When I clicked on this uh, run button, we are going to create the binary again using the clang command. So write clang main.c which is the name of my file hyphen o and then name of your binary output so this time i'm going to name my uh, binary file as out which is the compilation output of this c program i'm going to press enter and then it's going to create this kind of out executable file or binary file to run this binary i'm going to just write for dot forward slash out and it's going to print the output. So if you are a fan of command line, you can also run the code using command line like this. Now, if you want to debug your code, then you can go to the debug section here and then you can uh, start the debugging of your code. So you can click on run and debug and then choose your debugger. I'm going to choose the C lang build and debug active file option and then it's going to uh, debug your code. But first of all, we haven't added any breakpoint in our uh, files, right? So it's going to debug, but it's not going to stop at any place, right? So first of all, let's uh, set the breakpoint at line number five, six, nine, and 12. And then when I set these breakpoints, you can see in the list of breakpoints, it has been added. So we have added the breakpoint at five, six, nine, and 12. And from here, you can also toggle these breakpoints. That means disable or enable or remove these breakpoints. Once again, start the debugger. And this time, hopefully, the debugger is going to stop at the first uh, breakpoint. Here, you will be able to see the list of all the variables. Right now, 
num1 num2 and some have some garbage value because our program execution stopped at this point so we haven't yet executed this line of code so num1 have some garbage value num2 have garbage value and uh, some have garbage value when i step over so this line of code is executed and now num1 has the value of 5 which is correct when i uh, step over once again this line is executed and num2 have the value of 10 and when i step over again this line is executed and some have the value of 15 which is also correct so this is how you can also run your debugger and debug your code and when you press on continue it's going to continue and print the output you can also create the launch.json file for your uh, debug uh, options so uh, when i click on create launch.json and then click on uh, demo.c which is the name of my folder it's going to create this kind of launch.json file so when you go to the explorer you can see dot vs code uh, uh, folder is created for you and you will see the launch.json file created and you will also see that uh, your task.json file is also created by uh, Visual Studio Code for you. In task.json it contains the commands which will be used to build and run your program and you can also see the arguments uh, which will be added to your build and run commands and this type of uh, task.json and launch.json files are useful when you want to share your code with uh, your colleagues so when you commit your code and push your code for example to the github repository and somebody else uh, pulls it you will also get the same configuration and use the same configuration to run the c program so i think that's it for uh, this video this is how you can compile and run a c program in your visual studio code editor on your mac operating system i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video